it is time. Like it is time for you to make your dream a reality. Look at the six of wands saying that you are going to be victorious if you actually take inspired actions to make your dreams come true. Hi, my name is Elise. I'm your sweet psychic CEO, girl boss, who is here to help you have it all because you deserve to have it all. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. This is my only count. Don't get scammed. I love you. I cannot tell you how excited I am for this week and leading up to January 20th, which is Pluto in mother epic Aquarius. This is what we have all been waiting for. Five by five on the clock as I'm doing this. So there are big, massive changes coming. If you've been seeing five, five, five a lot lately, this might be a sign that you too are undergoing a massive transformation that is going to bring you the victory that which you see. This week is going to kind of pose a couple of challenges for you as far as challenging your mindset, challenging what you are spending your attention on, challenging the beliefs. A lot of it's going to be mental for you, uh, specifically, if, especially if you're my superstars and soul family uh, and those who identify with being the chosen ones. But really, because here we go, we've got truce here, uh, four of swords, and then the ace of swords, right? So there's this like, I'm kind of just getting this feeling of, you just needing to stop battling yourself. Like I'm literally hearing stop beating yourself up for past mistakes. Like you don't need to punish yourself for those things anymore. As long as you learn the lesson of what that mistake was, you're fine. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how you learn and grow. And that's really what this entire week is about. It's helping you level up so that you can have the victory that you want. Okay, this is making more sense. So again, you're wanting to have a truce with yourself to take a moment to rest and reassess things so that you can have a new mindset, a victorious mindset, a successful mindset, a well the mindset because you really have been doing so much for so long. Um, oppression, right? Ten of Wands. This has just been like you finally have hit rock bottom and you're realizing you don't want to stay in this suffering state anymore. That's why you really are ready to choose a new story and shine like the sun. This is a lot more of like you know, we're getting into a lot of Aries energy this week too. And Saturn is going to be a huge component and player in 2024 in general. And it's like, these planets are really asking you to take accountability for your actions. I know that doesn't sound like a lot of fun, but ultimately what it's trying to get you to understand what Saturn's trying to get you to understand is if you want to get all of that if you want to cash in all of your good karma if you want to really like just eliminate all of your bad karma and really start like receiving blessings upon blessings upon blessings like this is going to be about you stepping into and uh, your your highest and wealthiest self and the way to do that right is you have to start taking accountability for your actions so you can't just sit there in fear in victimhood and and like hope that things are going to change. If you say that you want the, that millions of dollars, the billions of dollars, the love of your life, the snatched body, the success, fame, and fortune, or whatever it is that's going to make you feel like you're living happily ever after, you're going to have to take inspired, practical actions in order to back up what you keep telling the universe that you want. I don't know why they're putting it this way, but they're kind of basically like, listen, so you're tired of men always giving you lip service and like saying that they're going to do something and then they never fucking do it. Okay. Why are you doing that with the universe? That's a little harsh. I know. Like you keep on telling the universe that you want all of this money or you want to find the love of your life. You want to have like, you know, this freedom and relief from all of this struggle, but you're not willing to do anything to change your circumstances. And that's the thing that you have the ability to shift this week. All right. What do they need to do? What do they need to do to turn this around? Let's get you some action steps. Okay. Uh, nine of swords, uh, worries and anxiety, one fall on the floor, hold on. Ah, and the seven of wands. So really needing to protect your energy and be, so there's valor at the top. So it's like, and also be valiant in your efforts to 
um, what I'm hearing is to protect and defend your dreams and what you really want to birth into reality. The truth of the matter is, is that if you step into this sun identity where you are like the lucky girl, the one where everything works out in your favor, where you are the leader, you are the influencer, you are the innovator, you are the person that everyone looks up to, you are the icon, you are the visionary leader, right? When you start getting up into that kind of level of fame and fortune because you're going to be in the spotlight inevitably you're going to start to also attract people who you trigger the fuck out of right and those people are going to start hating on you that's just inevitably how that goes that is sort of what this nine of swords and the seven of wands is trying to tell you is that you have to be prepared to not allow them to uh, ruin your peace you're going to have to protect your peace at all costs okay like that's coming in so hard protect your peace at all costs that means if someone all of a sudden becomes like a super green-eyed jealous monster around you you need to just let them go you know what I mean like let them be jealous and then you just move on and like like stop hanging out with them you know what I'm saying like you don't need that kind of energy in your life you only need people who are going to actually support you and lift you higher and actually provide you with the extra assistance that you need to build the empire that you've been wanting to build there is so much beneficial energy in um here for you to help and assist you I'm hearing all you really have to do is just uh ask your angels for that assistance and they'll bring people yeah so this is the eight of wands everything is going to be happening really freaking quick in January so uh it's going to be a straight shoot once you make the decision and you really then start backing up that decision with action like you're going to be Gucci Okay, so, so then like basically you're this like fool. You're going to start this brand new journey, a whole new world. Like it's going to be this whole new adventure or I, honestly, it's going back to the song that I, I was singing all of 2023, which was I can go the distance. I don't care how far. Somehow I'll be strong. Like you're going to be able to go on this adventure where you're going to really be able to like become a god, go back to Mount Olympus to really put your, be in the place where you were born to be. And like the lover of Curtis right underneath that so as long as you stay true to yourself and again that 98 degree song from Mulan like be true to your heart you must be true to your heart and when the heavens will part and baby shower you with my love like that kind of thing it's really about staying so in tune with what you love and if you can make that your dominant vibration everything else will fall into place so effortlessly for you if you really need help embodying this energy, get my Dream Life Blueprint Workbook. It is, uh, click the link in my bio, just scroll down to ways to get started and it's right there. And it's a 25 page document that is going to help you step by step really map out exactly who you need to be. And let me just tell you, except for confirmation, why can't I speak right now? Let me just tell you for confirmation, okay? If you needed a sign, this is it. You are a star. That is your destiny. You were born to shine. You were born to be in the spotlight. You were born to make a difference in this world. So like, follow, comment to claim this. Hit that follow button for more. And write down in the comments, I now choose to be in my happiest era yet. I love you.